Hi, how you doing? I'm so glad you could join me. My name is Russ, and I'm going to be talking about Nunchaka. Where are they? There they are. Ah. Seriously, though, I've got some cool stuff to talk about, and if you're into Nunchucks, you're in the right place. And I'm going to be talking about how to really get the most out of this tool. So I hope you can hang with me. Thanks for coming along. What that is, is some basic platform move, warm-up practice, and that is what kind of gets me started, okay? And there's so, uh, some of these things that I'm talking about are the things that you learn after you have done it for a while, because at first you pick it up, you know, you might be uh, using it to uh, separate the wheat from the chaff, uh, I don't know, but, or you may be using it to, to hit something. That is, you know, like what we all kind of start out with. But once you've done that and you want to maybe learn more, you want to go further into it and see what else there is, then you start to pursue it like I did. Almost like a scientist. You know, you really have to break it down and get into the fine details. Uh, like the other day what I was talking about, uh, I talked about the sound, okay, and then I've been breaking it down to talk about what the moves do, the e equal and opposite reaction, and how that actually works to give you more benefit when you do the flowing moves than when you do just short jerky moves, okay? And so when we're talking about developing a high degree of skill, that's something you have to weigh what moves you're going to do because the moves that get you the furthest are the moves that keep where you keep going where you're not just doing it f uh, for a second and then you're bouncing it off those bouncing moves while they are fun and educational and you got to do that at some point you have to progress beyond that and do continuously flowing movement in order to get the real big benefits from the nunchucks. Okay, and we're going to talk about that a little bit more as I practice and give you example of flowing movement that I'm talking about. Okay, here is the platform move in its flowing state no stopping you can hear the sound it's flowing it's raising the awareness because I ha I can't think about too many things when I'm doing this I can't even talk really which I have to do because I've got to share this so talking isn't something that you would normally do when you're practicing or listening when you're practicing try to be keep everything out and focusing in on the safety and the movement and the elimination of all the other cares in the world so that when you let them come back they come back in the order and in the fashion that you need them to come back into okay so you can start this out really slowly and then gradually go to a lower state here where it's down it doesn't go over your shoulder anymore
if you want to use the nunchucks to understand yourself, you have a good tool. Okay, a lot of people don't know what they're going to do with nunchucks. They just think, you know, this is fun. I like doing it. And you can take it to another level eventually. You know, you don't have to do it right away. It's just, you know, I'm just kind of giving you these things so that you can pick them off the tree of knowledge whenever you need them. Okay, I'm just going to be leaving this stuff here uh, for whenever you need it. You know, at first, people aren't going to need all this stuff. So, uh, for that, definitely check out Ken Hill's video. And uh, Jason Jadud is doing some great work now. Uh, I think we should all be uh, scoping out each other's work. Uh, and I want to say hi to, to all my friends in Indonesia, uh, Ernu and Janelle. Um, Zud and all these uh, people are in Indonesia doing some really nice flowing movement and I want to say thank you to those who have uh, been addressing me as master I'm super honored okay they call me master Russ there are some of them uh, even some people in other countries have been doing that and I am so thankful I'm humbled beyond words Thank you. Um, more of my notes. <laughs> you know, the biggest message that I'm going to ever have in all this stuff is that we are here to improve ourselves. Okay? Improving yourself is the big thing. Okay? Uh, I can't stress that enough. If you're looking for what to get out of this art, it's an understanding of yourself, and it's also what I was just talking about, which I forgot. Let's see. Oh, which is, in, which is you know, all of these different functions, all these different thing uses that they have for the nunchucks all boils down to one thing and that is self-improvement okay nunchucks can do an infinite number of things you know but we're here to improve ourselves okay so I think that's where we need to keep coming back to with our nunchucks is it's to improve ourselves and then you get the biggest reward because your intention is the purest it's continuation of your of the of the fundamental goal of improving yourself and if you can keep it up it's like you're winding up to do something rather than just doing it suddenly okay you're not just doing this nunchuck thing for a little bit you know, if you're just interested in smashing stuff, you know, you're probably going to be uh, doing it for a short period of time. The people who want to do pra practice with nunchucks, to have a practice with nunchucks, and to do it their whole life because they like it, they enjoy it, because they're, they're having a great time doing it, and in, it, like in Indonesia, they have lots of friends who do it, um, then you want to look at those long-term goals and self-improvement is the most fundamental long-term goal and it puts you in harmony with the universe so that you cannot get any higher than that as far as I know you know that's going to get you to the highest degree of skill is to keep your intention pure and the nunchucks will purify your intention and I'll show you how that works.